Hey everybody, welcome back to Nellie and Ruth Designs. Today we are going to be working on a cute little project. I just received a small order from nuts.com and I really like their boxes because they've just got fun, quirky little sayings um, on them. And I love the little nut people that they put on here. Um, so I thought I would take this box and I would make a few postcards from it um, using some of the old Dick and Jane uh, pieces, pages, from an old book I have here. And that's titled Our New Friends. And there's just wonderful, wonderful images in here that you can use for so many different projects and I really like them all so I thought I would make a couple postcards this is a regular size postcard and I have really cute little from Tim Holtz postcard stamps that I can use and you can these are still available if you go on I think you can get these on Amazon but I've used them <laughs> Quite a bit and I really really like them um, so we have those I've got my little mat out here because I've used some gesso to cover some of it up and yeah we'll get started so I think this will be fun so this one here I'm going to use this bigger piece here to um, make a large postcard I don't want them all to be a traditional size. The other thing that you can do with the boxes is if you want to make pockets in your um, junk journals, you can do that. And the backs are very easy to peel off. They come off quite nice. And this corrugated part here is just, this would be fun to work on. You could just sew this up and add some ephemera and it would give a different look too. Maybe we'll do that in a follow-up video um, but first I'm going to take this off and I think I'm going to use my exacto knife and then if I have to trim it up at all I can do that on my um, my coral cutter So as you can see, it's pretty, it's pretty easy to cut through that. And the only thing I'm, I don't think I'm even going to do anything to this because it looks pretty good and I want it to look a little bit rough. The only thing I'm going to do is I have a small piece of sandpaper here and I'm just going to sand the side of this, but I'm going to do it over my wastebasket. to get some of that rough edge off of there. And I'm going to do the same to the other side, the opposite side as well. So that just kind of, you can see it just kind of calms that down a little bit. Um, and then on this one, I think I can use a larger, I'm going to get it stamped. I could use a larger postcard image on this back side. This one, I don't know if it's showing. This is kind of fun. This is a big one. Let's take a look. <clears throat> Is that? Well, we aren't using this. This says Christmas, Christmas cards. Not using that. I don't know how that got in my postcard one. This is a nice size one. I think maybe we'll use... We'll use this one here. I'll get that stamped. 
and I'm just going to get that pretty even there. I'm using the VersaFine. And I think we're just going to put it right about here. There, that's cute. All right, so we'll let that dry a minute. And we will... So this is my idea. And while that's drying, let me... That's almost dry. And then we're going to use some gesso on this side. So I already have that out, my brush. Um, but my idea is, I like this image here of Sally, um, Sally and Peter with the wagon and her toys. And I think that will fit nicely down here. And then I have some other little pieces of ephemera um, to play with. I want to keep a, a red, white, and blue theme. So let's get this, and I want to keep my little nutty guy there. So when you're doing this, you can just pick out some, uh, you know, keywords not to paint over. Um, I want to keep the, I want to keep Mr. Nut. I want to do the, like a nut shipment. I want to uh, nut, nut, nut thing brightens my day. I want to keep that. So I'm just kind of going to figure out here what. What I'm going to cover up and. And I don't really care if, you know, some of it peeks through. And it doesn't, on some sides, it just doesn't have to be all covered. And I don't really know how it's going to... How it's going to turn out, but that's why I guess you just play, don't you? Okay. Okay. All right, I'm going to keep it like that. Set my brush here. Hopefully it won't. Sometimes when you get the gesso on here, it really hardens up, but I will just have to soak that after. Okay. So what I'd like to do, I'm going to remove this mat now. Grab it if I need it. Um, so we have our postcard. And I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to cut this out instead of ripping, ripping and tearing it. I think I'll cut them. So I want to thank you for joining in and subscribing. Um, thank you to all my new subscribers and everyone else that is a returning viewer. I appreciate it.
really isn't much there's not much going on around here um, by the time I post this hopefully we will it will be sunny and warm I've been making a lot of my um, videos ahead of time so you know if I say oh you know we just we got that 12 inches of snow or 18 inches of snow they told us it, it might <laughs> very well the video might have you know been um, prior to my posting it and I'm trying to get some videos made ahead of time um, and get them in my cache so I can take on some other projects. Um, all right, so there's Sally and Peter. And I can still use this image on this side. Um, and I think, yeah, see, I'd like to use all the toys are in the wagon. Uh, um, I think maybe I could use that. I don't want to cut into this, so I just have to be careful. So I'm going to go very, I'm going to go quite close. So I really don't, there we go. That's good. So that's the other thing. You just have to be mindful. Um, if there is an image on the other side of your page that you want to use. So I'm just going to use this here. All the toys are in the wagon. Now we can't get in. So I'd like to use that there. And what else do we have? Let's see what else we have to use for a little ephemera. Behind it. I just think these would be cute to send to someone in the mail. Um, With a little with a little greeting on the back. Let's see here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let us see. Sometimes it's hard when I start a, I don't know if you do this, but when I start a new, a whole new project like this, sometimes I can't, it takes me a little bit to wrap my head around it and I have to make a few, um, you know, to get in the swing of things. But once I, once I get my mojo going, then, then it's not too bad. Things kind of fall into place, but it always takes me a little bit um, to do it, to get her going. And I don't think there's anything in here. I could use something like that. And I want to stick with the reds. Maybe something like that. Let's 
so I just have to bear with myself and you're going to have to bear with me. Um, like to keep that brightens my day. I'd like to keep that open. I still want to show my little nut man there. Oh, it's the second time I've done that. I've ripped two off at the same time. That, that way the little the little nut my little nut man shows up there that let's see here Make a cute little, try to make a cute little collage here. And I'm so used to, when I work on Marguerite Miller's, um, my weekly planner, my collage challenge with her, I'm so used to, you know, making a somewhat of a story that, again, my mind is just, um, thinking, you know, of, you know, what to do for, to do just that, some sort of little story. So I say sometimes it just takes a little bit for me to get my head wrapped around, wrapped around something. All right, so let's just kind of put this here like that. I do want the Patriot here. take my car for service this afternoon so I thought I would um, create this and I'm in the middle of doing some laundry and just trying to get get uh, make my day I'm going to put, I want to put that there. I know I want to put that there. I think I'm just kind of, I'm just going to build this and see, see what works the best. So 
off here. Okay. That will be there. Let's get Saline Peter over here. Where's my little... I don't like to have, and it's just something, I just don't like to have, um, I don't like, sometimes in my collages, I don't like to have spaces. If I'm, you know, it's weird, isn't it? There, so I got that little area covered up there. All right, let's see. I do want to use this, but I may not end up using... I'm going to take that off. It's going to be interesting too, because I will send these, I will send these out, um, but it's going to be interesting to see if this would take a postcard postcard postage or if it is going to be a little bit more I'm just trying to figure out how, where and how I'm going to put um, the saying. So I'm just going to have to play with this a little bit. that. And let's see here. That's that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I do like this. So I'm going to take, as I usually do, glue that down there so that's one becomes one piece. So I have that. Okay. Oh, my paddle, my paddle. Okay. So let's get this glued up. And again, I'm not patting that down immediately because that the art glitter glue sticks instantaneously. It's an instant bond. Okay, and then we've got 
Okay, so we are going to add so that will go right to the end there. I'm just going to loosely put that there. Bring this back just a little bit. All right, down that goes. And let's see what it is. We have that right there. And I'm going to put that little life, that little life right here. There. All right, let's get, let's get these two, let's get these two little monkeys on there out with their little wagon and I really, really like working with these um, images. There's so many things I've made. Um, I've used the specimen slides. I've made cute little ephemera using them, which is just adorable. All right, so I want to do a little bit something just up around the top edges here, just to add a little bit just a little color. So I could probably add that one there. When my fingers get sticky. I have to use my tweezers. I can add a little, just a little something over here. <laughs> See a couple other little. Oh, let's see. I got a. I don't know if I want to use a cigar band. I can use the U.S. I could cut this here. Let's cut this cigar band here where it just says U.S. Clubhouse. I can put that up on his hat. I could put that there. And then... Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we have here. Maybe I can. Just take these little pieces and kind of like using washi tape. Maybe I could just, whoops. Let 
Maybe I could just put them in a corner, maybe and maybe not. No. I think if I just do I just do some little pieces here in there. Um, I think that might be kind of good just to add a little I know I want that over there, so let's get that down. Let's get that down. And then maybe I'll just move this right over here like this. Yeah, and then I'm just going to leave that open. I think we need to just do a little something around my little, the little nut man. Just to give it a little, just a little something more. Like just putting that on his on his little hat there, US Clubhouse. There. Oh, I think that's cute. I think that would cheer up somebody if they if they received that in the mail. I think so. I think that is that's cute. And then with the larger one, you have a lot of space on the back to write your no, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a marker here, get my ruler, and I'm going to draw a line. Um, I know not all postcards had lines, um, but I'm going to, and I want to make this straight, so I'm going to grab my because you know me, I have to have everything straight. Let's get this lined up here like this. And then I'm going to line it up here. You'll probably see my head a minute. I'll get this lined up here. Just a little bit more up. And I'm just going to draw, let's see, how do I want to do this? Because um, I want to have the address over here. Um, maybe I won't do a line that way. Maybe I'll do a line down this way. And I can put the address here. So the address will go over here. And then the um, the note will go here. So I think that will I think that will be good. So yeah, I think these are really I think these came out cute. And it's something you know, use it up if you get a this one. I am going to go right down the center. This being the center here. Um, let me move this over a little bit this way. You know, and you can do this with other, you know, boxes as well. I just thought it would be really cute to use the nuts.com box because I really like all of the little. I like all the little men, all the little nuts on here in the sayings. Um, I think that's really cute. 
So that is Kiss Me, I'm Nuts. I, that's really cute. Um, so that is today's video. That is today's tutorial. Um, you Making postcards from a nuts.com box. And I mean, you you can you can use your birds, you can do nature. I just think that these are really, really cute using the images from the um, old school book. So there you have it, my friends. Enjoy. I hope you make some for yourself and I will see you in my next video. Alrighty. Bye-bye.